in our very first episode, we put the cheap lock against the quad lock. This time, quad lock is the cheap lock. Yep, today we have the quad lock coming in at $49.99, the SP Connect coming in at $69.99, and the new kit on the block, Peak Design, coming in at $99.95. So if you're already going to pay $49 bucks on quad lock, are you going to be willing to pay twice that amount for Peak Design? Find out in this episode of To The Test. Are you always looking to maximize your savings, waiting for 8899 and other various sales, only to find that your discount is never enough? You collect membership stamps on your membership card, but you only get 10% discount. Worse still, your redemption date expired. You are in luck what? because today is the best day of your life. With Direct Asia, you can finally get up to 30% off your motorcycle insurance. They are the only motorcycle insurer that offers NCD 30 if you hold your NCD 20 for more than two years. They also have an NCD protector and optional benefit to add on. The best part, you don't need to wait for a sales period because the 30% discount is available all year long. Now you know why I can have so many bikes. Plus, if you use our very okay promo code, you can get up to $60 capital more voucher. It is very okay. In this test, we are going to be testing vibration. Vibration. Jake has an app installed in the phone and it's going to be measuring the X, Y, and Z axis. Mm -hmm. Well, in the one year that we've done our very first test, phones have gotten way more technical. Not only do we have optical image stabilization, now we have sensor shift. So you have more things to fuck up on your phone. So as a baseline, I already have the quad lock case on my phone. We're going to test it with the quad lock case because everything else is a stick on. We are going to be turning the engine on and then we'll see how much vibration that phone experiences through the app. Three, two, one. Interesting. Okay, so it's mostly moving along the Y and Z axis. Alright, now that we have solved the baseline, we're going to do it with the stick on mount. Let's go stick. Okay, so we got the thinnest iPhone 11 Pro case that I can find. So anyway, we're going to see if this makes any difference. I remember trying to put this on, then Amos tell me, check ah. Worst leh? Same, same. Worst leh? It's visibly worse. Just now the uh, Y, y was the Y was at four plus, the Z was at seven plus. Seven, eight, right? Seven or eight. So now it's at nine. So really can tell. So whoever who commented on our previous video that we have to use the actual case, you're right, lah. It does help with some vibration. How much? Oh wait, this is worse, huh? This is worse. Okay, that means now no same card there. It is time for SP Connect. Just make sure you pronounce connect properly. We didn't say it. You did. Oh, you mean to Hiya! It looks less, eh? It's less, yeah? But the base is a lot. It seems to be a yeah, lot thicker. Maybe it's because there's more mass to the to the maybe. to the Come, 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 come here, come here. Remember Kado? And I told him, hey, come and see this, come and see this. Now Come and see this. You come and see this. Peak design. We are not paid by peak design. I, I wish. Uh, I wish we were. Uh. We bought these ourselves. Uh, but come, 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 come here, come here. And listen to it. I'll bring my mic in close. Wow! Well, as cool as it is, right? I don't want it to mess up my phone. My phone is more expensive. All right. So let's do the test. Eh? That's X. weird. Z, That's weird. Z a little bit more. Z is Z is about the same as wait the uh, quad lock. Point zero point one yeah. more. But the Y, eh, why is the X zero point zero zero four? The X isn't moving much now. You so know what? what I'm guessing is that this vibration damper is doing more of an X and Y damping. But Z axis, Z axis would be depth, right? So this way is still not doing that much lah. We do one more time.
Mm, about about the, that. About that. A bit less now. Why well, we can more. look at the yeah, yeah, yeah. the graph. Okay, like, oscillations is about there. Mm. One, two. The next test. So for this test, it's gonna be a race between me and Mark. We've both been given some time to get used to all three systems, and we are gonna do a race between us. The race starts off with the dummy phone on the gas tank. You have to pick it up. The timer starts once you pick it up. Put it on. Take it off for three times. And then once the phone lands back on the gas tank, the timer stops. We are both going to do the race and we'll take an average of the time to see how easy it is for all three systems to work. Here we go! Let's go! Three, two, one. Six point four seconds. Not bad. Not She's bad. She's always said I'm quick. Is that why they call you Mr. Speedy, Gonzalez? <laughs> oh, cram, bro, cram, cram. Sala, legit, not joking, cram. <laughs> Fuck. Three, two, one, go. You puki. <laughs> and. Hey, but then the time how ah? You never stop ah? Five point nine. Five point nine. I'm faster, bro. That's why I'm single. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. Now time for the SP connect. Hey, but before that ah, connect. I say connect. Connect. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong now. Connect. Connect. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. <laughs> Just now behind the scenes when we were changing, all of the crew, we were talking about the peak design and we were saying like how cool it was and we were thinking about different ways to use it. Like maybe using it for camera, using it for like uh, putting an iPad Wait, and stuff like that peak on. Peak design makes camera stuff, right? They make camera stuff. So I first found out about them from their camera uh, back strap holder things. And yeah, it's, it's really cool. Lah. You know what else is very cool? Uh, Triple Tree merch. T-shirts have launched. Get your T-shirts now at Triple3.com the, the link cover his face, no problem. Three, two, one. And you're going, and you're going, and you're gonna come, and you're gonna. <laughs> it's okay, bro. It's okay. One more time. One more time. And stop. 10.25. Not too bad. Not okay, too bad. La. I think I can be faster. And three, two, one. Is he gonna come? 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 Hey! Fast 7.72! I tell you I'm fast already! That's why you're single. So now I think I go first. Lah. Sure. Okay? Put some pressure on you. Maybe you'll perform better. Actually, I feel like I might have a bit of a dis uh, uh, unfair advantage because I use quad lock right now. So... Oh no. I am gonna screw up. I I don't know why I cannot do the whole quad lock. This is why we are taking an average time of both of us. So that, you know, to be fair, because there's idiots like me, and then and there's bigger idiots, idiots like me. Like him. Yeah. You better not fail, sir. You fail, chalak. <laughs> Three, two, one. You start already. Oh, gee. I thought you tell me, like, heaven start. Ho! Oh. <laughs> 13.04. I give you a tip, uh -huh. okay? So, right, you want to take the top one first, huh? you find that one first, lock on that corner, and then press the rest in, and then you lock on. You try, you try. I give you a tip. So, you put the tip in, you find the thing, and then you push it in, you lock it on. Hey, it works! Three, two, one. And he's gonna. Oh, he messed up on the first turn. Will he get it? Will he get it? Will he find the hole? Oh, he got one. Back out and going again. Oh, no, no. Oh. That wasn't in. They didn't go fully in, bro. You have to go all the way in. It's not in. It's not in. It's not in. Find the hole. Oh, you're in. And you go on the last round now. Final corner. You locked it in. And stop. That was a 1987. Well done. Bro. What do I win, bro? Nothing. Bye, bro. <laughs> So we are now gonna do the pull test, but with a little twist. We are not testing the adhesive, which is why we took all the adhesive out. Gonna replace it with the same adhesive to the piece of wood, and then we pull, we see what breaks. Hopefully not the... Bluetooth connect. <laughs> the original quad lock. Let's go. It's not cheap lock, right? 
I mean, it's the cheap lock this time. Ah. Three, two, one. 15, 20. Oh. 21 ah. 21 kg ah. 21 kg. But, but, it's not the adhesive ah. So the same thing happened? Yep. Same thing as the first episode, it looks like the plastic on the mount that's on the bike bent and gave in. Okay. Because the adhesive is here, everything is still here. Right? So that's the only weak point. I'm ready. Sure. This, is SP Connect. Three, two, oh, I'm a bit scared right now. You know things are getting serious, right? When Mark actually puts on safety equipment. Mm. When the guy who always is rock and roll. Lah. Rock and roll! Hello? Safety glasses. Steady, ready, ready. Steady, ready, ready. Steady, ready. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, that was close. Twenty, yeah, twenty point eight. Comparable, comparable. So this one, but it, it stopped. It stopped right before it. So I'm thinking maybe twenty one. But so I, will, I will say comparable. this is not an exactly scientific test. So the thing inside the SP Connect, Koya already. The Connect Koya. Okay, so the this thing gave way. Yeah. But the mount is still fine. Ma mount is metal, like it shouldn't. Mount is metal, like it shouldn't do anything. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Oh. No, no, now we know. Quad lock, 21 kilos. Mm -hmm. This one, I would say about 21 kilos. But so the one that I'm most interested to know, right? The next one, pick design. I want to know how much. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why do I have a feeling uh, the shock mount is going to be here? Yeah. Right. Maybe then. Uh, but I'm not sure because I think. Actually, I don't know. Here we go. Zero. Please, tolong, tolong, pick design. Give me a good result. Wow. Oh! Whoa! 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 No way. No way. I picked that uh, it's locking at 25. Next test, I'm going to push. I'm going to pull until it breaks. Oh my this, this, god. This this reminds me of... of the quad lock. Quad lock and China cheap lock. Yeah. There we go. Come on, big design. Make daddy proud. Oh my god. Do you, you see how much that was? The entire plastic ring around this thing broke. But... These two sides still not broken yet. So, so if he wants to mount landscape, if I want to mount landscape, bro, still can, yeah? I'm impressed. Honestly, very impressed. This this is about the same level of like impressiveness as with the Pactock Edge, right? Where we pull and then the whole mount was like yeah, it bent, it bent, but 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 yeah. And this is it's still working. Like look, ah, it's legit not fucking moving, right? And then. <gasps> It works. Bro, you got a conclusion? Uh? Yeah. Before we, we even go into the results, right? I think this is going to give it away. But okay, so in the final test, right? One side of the peak design broke, right? Then we were like thinking, ah, yeah, one side break already. See, ah, the clip, right? Go on to the broken side, ah, right? Bro, it still works. Ah. But I mean, the fact that it came out means it's not working anymore. Lah. Yes, but still, Wait, 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 give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. On the broken side, ah? Oh, yeah. It was still holding there. So anyway, let's just get on to the, the results because I think the peak design has already spoken for itself, for its performance. More than it. Right. Yeah. In the first test, the vibration test, quite interesting results. Yes. yes. When you look at the screen capture, all of it looks about the same. Mm. And I think we realised something, you can't really just look purely at the numbers because vibration is about frequency. Okay, so out of the three, the only one that had a vibration damper was the peak design, right? But the SP Connect outperformed all of it. With vibration lah? With, with the vibration, a, with test, the vibration uh. test, yeah. yeah. But out of the three, all the vibrations, right? The quad lock actually has the lowest numbers. 
ish. The lowest for the Y axis and the highest for the Z axis. Correct, correct. Yeah. So it's a bit weird. I think this this chalks up to the different design elements, lah. Mm. Right. And the quad locks phone case, the original phone case, did help with the vibration as well. So I, I would say, yeah. with the vibration damper and the phone case, which is what I have been using on my bike, it's it's okay lah. My phone camera is still working. Then in the speed test, that one, obvious winner. Right. Me. I am the obvious winner. No. Peak design is the obvious winner. Because I am also the obvious winner. Sure. Sure. Well done. Well Thank done. You. <laughs> Give me a price. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Yeah, so I mean, it, because it's it's magnetic, because it's you don't have to press any button, don't need to twist, don't need anything. You, you need to press the button. Oh, to, to put on. Out. To put on, you just... Yeah, true, true. Then, instead of having to press two of the latches, you can press one latch. Speed test, peak design, definitely the winner. And then we uh, the, the second one will be SP Connect. Yeah. SP Connect is also very easy. I mean, you've got two parallel lines, you just line up the phone. Yep. So much easier. The thing I have to complain about quad lock, I'm I'm using a quad lock every day now on my bike. It's very easy to use for what it is, and it's a very clean design, right? It's very clean, it's very customizable, you can have different colors and all that. But the quad lock is very annoying because you always have to like find the right hook, la, and then you have to line up the other three points, and then you have to like press and twist. It's so frustrating yeah. sometimes, especially like when you're rushing off right, and then you just want to like you put miss, it on. Miss, miss, miss. Yeah, you keep missing and it's just annoying and then you just push on your phone and you just get more and more pixel. I'm like, oh my god. But the peak design, not, okay, don't need to say a peak design because that's like innovative using magnets plus a physical lock, right? The SP connect. You just push in and then you yeah. twist. It's a lot easier. And that's done. A lot easier. Right. I will go with, I think the SP Connect is, as if you compare just these two, the SP Connect is the clear design winner for me. And it's also cleaner. So just, just a little insight for you guys, right? When we were planning this episode, we were thinking what to do. And I brought up Peak Design because I have been looking at Peak Design for the longest time. And they were like, what is Peak Design? They've never even heard of it. So I was very anxious. I really wanted to know the results. And when the third test came about, I really feel like it wouldn't last because look at how thin this thing is. It's like, Wait, what the heck? Yeah, what? How much was it? 20... 27 kilos? Yeah, 27, it, it, 28? It, it beat that 25.8. Oh yeah, 26. Yeah, to the point where the material failed, the front of, of the AT started lifting up. Yeah. It okay. really blew me away. And even after one of the little uh, wedges broke off, still works. Still use it. Still works. It still works. So for me, at least these kind of things, these kind of engineering things really tickle my fancy. Yeah. I personally love how the, the little flaps will go in when you press and just magnetic and it, 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 it just it just works. That, yes. That's if you were to choose out of these three, which one would you buy? I would definitely say hands down, peak design. Because I love the ease of just putting the phone there and it locking. It's like Cardo. Cardo pack talk eight. You just go. As much as I want to disagree with you for the video, right? I have to say hands down, peak design, right? And the thing is, it's a bit of a different case this time because we are not comparing something that's extremely expensive versus something that's extremely cheap. You guys might see at the start, like we say that uh, it's $50 US versus $100 US peak design. But peak design comes with what? It's made of aluminum. It's the full metal built. It has the vibration damper come together with it. Built in. Yeah. Built in. As we connect, the aluminum version costs $69. Mm. Right? Same with the quad lock, the aluminum version costs $69. But the vibration damper. The vibration damper costs 10 bucks more for SP Connect. Mm. At $30 than the quad lock at $20. So when you count all of it in, the price difference is only about $10. Yeah. Oh. And with a $10 price difference, I would always go for this. If then that is if you're getting everything together, right? But if you want to cheap out, of course, I would go for the cheap lock, which is proven in our first video to be a great decision. Or the Shimanu. Or the Mu. Ah. You know the Shim. Yours is the Shimanu. Uh. Where's your Shimanu? Shimanu. Eh, oh, Abang, Abang Ben. Abang Ben, this is my shout out to you. I say already, okay? You teach me one. Shimanu. S M N U. Shimanu. <laughs> <laughs> If you are interested in any of these items, or if you're looking for something else, maybe a Shimanu for Shimanu. yourself. Shimanu? Yeah. Head on down to Carousel where they have a 
tons of options. With that, I'm Mark. And I'm Jake. We'll see, see you on the road. road.